Good morning. I'm EP0130 and I'm speaking for the motion Hope, Pro Hope Mission to Mars was the success of humanity. I think that Hope Probe Mission to Mars was the success of humanity because the Hope Probe is the first probe to provide a complete picture of the Martian atmosphere and its layers when it reached the red planet's orbit in 2021. It will help the answer keys questions about the global Martian atmosphere and the loss of hydrogen and oxygen gases into space over the span of one Martian year. The Mars mission has three main goals. Goal one, to understand the climate dynamics of Mars and planet's global weather map by characterizing its lower atmosphere. Goal two, to explain how the weather on Mars affects the escape of hydrogen and oxygen from its atmosphere. Goal three, to understand the structure and variability of hydrogen and oxygen in the upper atmosphere. Thank you. Oh, so the, um... Question is that, uh, in your opinion, uh, why, uh, why do you think that Hope Probe was uh, successful? Hope Probe uh, took a long time. Hope Probe took a long time to reach Mars and it finally reached Mars in 2021. So I thought it, it, I think it's a successful mission because it started seven years ago and now it's finally done. Okay. Um, good morning. I am EP0131. I'm going to speak against the uh, motion on hope on hope mission to Mars for success to humanity. Um, I feel it was not successful because many people wasted hours. Almost trillion dollars were wasted. Letters of fuel were wasted in, the, in this project. There's a suspicion these atoms play a significant role in the ongoing erosion of Mars atmosphere by the energetic particles that stream away from the sun. If hope probe goes too fast or too slow, it will either crash on Mars or widely miss its orbit or get lost in deep space. Radio signals should be lost for some 15 minutes until the probe can contact it again. There are any number of things that could go wrong. People could starve, freeze, run out of oxygen or be uh, hit with lethal, uh, lethal doses of radiation. Not to mention the global dust storms that occur on Mars for week, weeks on end. Additionally, there are the possible mechanic failures of rockets during flight, crash landings and holes in oxygen tanks. Moreover, communications between Earth and Mars would be very long-winded conversations as the delay is between 7 and 24 minutes, depending on where Earth is in relation to Mars. So suddenly, those few minutes delay on today's video conferencing doesn't seem so uh, bad. Thank you. So you told that if people live in Mars, they could be hit by uh, different things that we don't know about. The scientists are sending uh, things to go there and check if it's safe to live there. So why do you think the things will still hit the people living there? Um, um, as I said in, um, as I said uh, in my speech, uh, there uh, there's a suspicion these atoms play a significant role in the ongoing erosion of mass atmosphere by the energetic particles that shim away from the sun. So um, the erosion may be the cause cause of that. Okay, thank you.